first girlfriend, she was 49 years old. I was 22. Yeah, I used to take care of her. She was a freak. She used to dress up like a dominatrix with a whip and shit and make me do chores. <laughs> Clean the roof. Oh! <laughs> we would have sex, crazy sex, like choke me, choke me. I'm like, oh, what do I do? So I'm pressing her oxygen tank. Fucking unplugging her fucking IV. <laughs> hiding her pills. She got me into coke, man. I remember one time we were dancing. And she goes, you want a bump? I was like, I thought you never asked. <laughs> she said, not that kind of a bump, you fucking fat nerd. <laughs> I remember one time I was doing cocaine off a woman's breast. But when I sobered up, it wasn't cocaine, it was her deodorant. <laughs> That's how fucked up I was. It was my fucking fault. I was kissing her belly button, her little baby hairs. And I saw that fucking big ass white line. I was like, you fucking greedy bitch. It started tasting like that fucking Mexican so fabuloso. <laughs> it's harder to talk about women nowadays, man. Especially if you're, not, you're an ugly man. Maybe in the 90s you would have got away with it, but not no more. Not with all this Me Too stuff, man. People are fucking questioning shit. Like my friend was telling me, Felipe, last night I was fucking this chick in the fucking parking lot, bro. She was fucking screaming, bro. I was slapping her face, pulling her hair. She was scratching my face. I was like, damn, bro. I want to hear her side of that fucking story. <laughs> bro, it fucking sounds like you're confessing a crime. <laughs> Fuck, that started sketching his ass. <laughs> I kept his cup. I feel bad, you know, when I have sex with somebody and it's time for them to leave and they don't know. <laughs> it's sad. You want me to just leave like I'm a fucking hooker? Whoa, 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 whoa. Nobody here's gonna give you money either. <laughs> I had sex with a woman, it's so embarrassing. Right after sex, she was driving me to her ex-boyfriend's house. I asked her, what are you doing? I'm taking you to my ex-boyfriend's house so he could see you and he could know that I moved on with my life. I said, man, look at me. You are going to lose this fight. Just take me back to my mom's house.